gravy cooking. Holly, what would you do if Ronnie won? I did my pose at the end. The panel said badass. It could have been because I had it on my back, or it could have been because I had a great walk. It's underwear, you know? It's uh, Underwear is a big thing in my life. So uh, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> I definitely felt very confident in this catwalk and it's grown over the last several weeks and I'm very comfortable with who I am, where I'm at, where I'm going. Our first catwalk was so awesome! I just felt the music in my outfit and it's just like letting go and just having fun. The second catwalk was really fun. Um, just fun clothes, and so decided to have fun with it, you know. I don't even know if I even did a catwalk. I just danced down the, the runway. <laughs> That was so much fun. I mean, we were out there having a good time, just strutting our stuff down the down the catwalk. My second catwalk was definitely the most fun catwalk because it actually looked like art. Like I was wearing this art sculpture. It's a privilege to wear it because you made it just for me. Last catwalk is in our suits. A little stiff, but I've improved greatly. I don't even own a suit, so every time I get to put one of these things on, I just feel so good. I feel, I feel confident. I feel sexy. I feel, I feel great. This catwalk was um, certainly challenging, you know. I struggled a little bit um, with the suit. I thought I did great on the catwalk. Um, this is my favorite part about modeling, is the catwalk. And I feel like I did really good. We have a guest on our panel today, your photographer, Matthew Ralston. Before we evaluate your work, we want to ask you a few questions. Okay, Ben, starting with you. Your second look, who came up with your dance moves? <laughs> it was great to see that side of you. Do you feel that you've changed from that first prison walk, catwalk? Definitely, I've changed in every aspect of myself. I'm very happy with the outcome of this whole experience. Mm -hmm. Walking out tonight, I thought you looked sexy. And so, for the man who doesn't believe he's sexy, I think you're starting to believe it. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you have, to me, you have the best body up there right now. Wow. Out of all the, out of the girls and the guys. It's definitely like, you true. You definitely have the best body. Have you ever seen your body as in shape as it is now? No. When you look at Ben, is there anything that he still needs? To work on definitely well i still think he's stiff and he still needs to work on that that's for sure i agree with that one i would like to see you get more comfortable in your movement you uh, what i saw on the runway here today surprised me because you were so comfortable in front of the camera and it was really flowing and we need to see more than the two looks that you have the happy and the yeah. angry all right ronnie wow amazing how did you like being earth 
Working with Matthew was really a great honor, you know, to work with someone that has done so much in this business. You know, he taught me a, a lot. Have you guys been training? Because you're not as cut as you were, like, say, back week seven and eight. With our production schedule, the last few weeks have definitely been a little bit more rigorous. We've kind of skipped uh, meetings with Clay. Yeah, because I was talking to Clay last night, and he feels like you guys, you know, you and Holly have, like, stepped off the gym bus and just been chilling at the bus stop. Is he as defined as you would like to see him, or...? No, I'd like to see you more cut. I'd like to see you uh, less, less body fat, just leaner. I had a problem at the catwalk is the pose at the end because you kind of gave us, you know, holding onto your jacket. That's Chicago pose number one well, and two. No, I, don't, I don't know if it's Chicago. It was just, I thought that you'd been past that. Ronnie, you've come from the bottom four times. Why does America love you so much? I just believe that, you know, America sees my genuine passion to be here and my ability to grow. I mean, this opportunity has shown me that I do have what it takes and that I do have that potential. And I think America wants me to be their supermodel. Holly, what would you do if Ronnie won? Slip my wrist. <laughs> no. Oh. Do you think you can still be the last girl standing? Yes, I know I can be the last girl standing. Despite what these boys say, like, I really... I do have spunk and I have sass. Like, I really don't understand how these boys think I don't have a personality. Perry? I just don't think she just commands any attention. Even when she was saying, I'm the last girl here, was like, I'm the last girl here. You know, like, <laughs> God damn it, you're the f***ing last girl here. <laughs> you have to command a certain presence, and with that is body language, and it's certainly voice. You have to say things with vigor. Yeah. You're a gorgeous girl. You have a beautiful, beautiful face. You're tall, you have a lot of good things going okay. for you. However, I do think you have to work on your body tremendously. A model's product is their physical being. Okay. You have to work on that just like I've got to work on my photograph. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you're working hard enough, not even close. I mean, we're not holding you to a standard that's normal for human beings. That's true. You are models. It's different. I know, I know this is being a long journey for you. And I'm telling you, Holly, whether the result of this competition, whether you win or not, Every agency in the United States is going to want to represent you. That's for sure. I hope so, because, like, that is my goal. Like, the $100,000 and the GQ thing is, like, perfect and all, but, like, I just want to work. Yes. And that's what makes me happy. Good for you. All right, and thank you, Holly. Okay, last but not least, Perry. In your catwalk, Perry, I still notice a little bit of head bob. I know. So just be conscious of that. I'll keep working on that. What was it like doing this photo shoot? I walked into the gallery last night and my, my jaw dropped. Yeah, uh, Matthew said that we were gonna be naked. And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna, you're gonna pull the tuck job deal and pull it back. 